African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC-3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 20th of August, 2024. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue to conduct a special military operation. Units of the North Group of Forces in the Volchensk and Lipsov directions inflicted losses on the manpower and equipment of the 22nd Mechanized, 82nd Airborne Assault and 17th Tank Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces in the areas of the settlements of Zolokiv in the Kharkiv region, Magritsa and Lagavka in the Sumy region. The enemy's losses amounted to 105 servicemen, a tank, six vehicles, a U.S.-made 155mm M777 howitzer, a 152mm D-20 gun, a 122mm 2S1 Gvozdika self-propelled artillery unit, a 122mm D-30 howitzer, and a Grad multiple launch rocket system combat vehicle. Units of the West Group of Forces occupied more advantageous positions and defeated the formations of the 115th, 116th Mechanized Brigades and the 3rd Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces in the areas of the settlements of Kopanki in the Kharkiv region, Chervona Dibrova in the Luhansk People's Republic and Novosadov in the Donetsk People's Republic. The Ukrainian Armed Forces lost more than 450 servicemen, 11 vehicles, two 155mm M198 howitzers and a 155mm M777 howitzer made in the USA, a 155mm FH70 howitzer made in the UK, a 122mm D30 howitzer and a 105mm M119 gun made in the USA. Units of the Southern Group of Forces improved the position along the front line, defeated the manpower and equipment of the 23rd Mechanized, 79th Airborne Assault and 81st Airmobile Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in the areas of the settlements of Katerinivka, Konstantinivka, and Serebryanka of the Donetsk People's Republic. Two counterattacks of the Armed Forces of Ukraine units were repelled. The enemy lost more than 680 servicemen for vehicles two 155mm M777 howitzers and a 155mm M198 howitzer made in the USA, a 152mm Stubby howitzer, a 152mm 2S3 Akatsia self-propelled artillery mount, a 122mm 2S1 Gvozdika self-propelled artillery mount, a 122mm D30 howitzer, two 152mm D20 guns, a 122mm Grad Multiple Launch Rocket System Combat Vehicle, a Croatian RAKSA-12 Multiple Launch Rocket System Combat Vehicle, and a 105mm M119 howitzer made in the USA. For field ammunition depots were destroyed. As a result of active actions by units of the Center Group of Forces, a large group of enemy troops was defeated in one of the largest settlements of the Toretsk agglomeration and a strategically important logistics hub, Novgorodskoy, of the Donetsk People's Republic, was liberated. The 25th Airborne, 100th Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 120th Territorial Defense Brigade were defeated in the areas of the settlements of Toretsk and Kalinovo, in the Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy's losses amounted to more than 585 servicemen, three tanks, two vehicles, a U.S.-made 155mm M777 howitzer, two 152mm D-20 guns, and three 122mm D-30 howitzers. Units of the East Group of Forces occupied more advantageous positions and inflicted losses on the manpower and equipment of the 58th Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 104th Territorial Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Prechestovka and Shakhtarskoy of the Donetsk People's Republic. The Ukrainian Armed Forces lost up to 110 servicemen, a tank, three vehicles, a Polish-made 155mm Krab self-propelled artillery unit, 
and a French-made 155mm Caesar howitzer. Units of the Dnieper Group of Forces inflicted losses on the manpower and equipment of the 31st and 118th Mechanized Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces in the areas of the settlements of Novodanilovka and Piatikaki in the Zaporizhia region. The Ukrainian Armed Forces lost up to 75 servicemen and a 152mm D-20 gun. Operational Tactical Aviation, Unmanned Aerial Vehicles Missile forces and artillery of the Russian armed forces groups inflicted damage on concentrations of enemy manpower and military equipment in 133 areas. Air defense systems shot down, a French-made hammer-guided aerial bomb, 10 U.S. Media Mars rockets, and 31 unmanned aerial vehicles, five of which were outside the area where the special military operation was being conducted. In total, since the beginning of the special military operation, the following have been destroyed, 639 aircraft, 282 helicopters, 30,192 unmanned aerial vehicles, 575 anti-aircraft missile systems, 17,345 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,415 multiple launch rocket system combat vehicles, 13,444 field artillery pieces and mortars, 24,945 units of special military vehicles. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.